Welcome! In this guide I will show you how to install Pop! OS 2104 with a full disk encryption but Butterfest as its file system. That is, we will create a LUX partition, we will then put a LVM inside this l encrypted partition and use Butterfest for our file system. Now unfortunately Pop's installer does not give you the option to create subvolumes when you format your system with Butterfest, so there are some manual steps involved and I will show you how to do that. Now with this layout this enables you to use software like TimeShift that creates instantaneous system snapshots that you can always revert to if something goes wrong. And also I've created a little utility called TimeShift AutoSnap apt that automatically creates system snapshots whenever you perform any apt operation, so any system update or any software install or deinstall. Now this guide also covers how to create an encrypted swap partition for say if you want to use hibernation and I will also show you how to optimize the mount options if you want to use ButterFS as your file system. I've been using this uh, structure on many systems uh, for a long time and so far it just works for me and I'm loving it. Now I have some things in the description of the video below, particularly there's a written guide with all the commands and much more explanations to what I'm doing here. So I heavily recommend that you check this guide out if you want to do the same on your system. Also, please first try it out on a virtual machine. With that being said, I'm going to install this uh, on bare metal on my Dell Precision 7520 notebook that has an NVMe. All right, so let's go. All right, now let us choose the language, um, the region and the keyboard layout. I have a German keyboard layout default. Okay, now let's do the demo mode and open up a terminal below here and we will switch to an interactive root session. So the first step is to prepare the partitions manually. Gparted for instance so basically I have three disks installed. This is the USB flash drive containing the installation files. This is um, an internal SSD that I use for backups. And this is the NVMe I want to use for the system. And there is nothing on this. Let us create the partitions with gparted. Okay, so first, um, it's sometimes useful to not start at the first me megabit uh, but at the second and let's first do a 498 um, partition effie partition okay so this will i will call this effie the file system is fat32 and i will also give it the label effie okay so Another one, a four gigabyte or 4,096 megib megabyte. Um, okay, and this will be my recovery system. This needs to be FAT32, but actually the installer will do the, part the form formatting of the file system. Okay. Now the swap partition, I um, also tend to stick with the default of 4 gigabytes and let me call this swap and the rest is my Pop! OS data partition and for file system well, actually, we will do the formatting, but let's pick some some file system here. This does not matter. Let's first hit OK. Now the Effie partition, we need to manage some flags. Um, this needs to be ESP and boot. OK, this is fine. We have the swap flag. OK. Fine. 
that it's the creation of partition. Now we will create the lux2 partition in the terminal, then we will also create the logical volume manager that is required by the pulps uh, installer, and inside this LVM we will then use the butterfress um, uh, root file system. So let us first create the lux partition and this was the fourth partition okay and hit yes use a very good password here verify that the default options are usually fine if you require even harder encryption then you would need to change the command now let's open the lux partition and I will call this crypt data because this is also what the pub installer uses as default. Enter the passphrase again. And now let's have a look at dev mapper. This tells you, okay, now this is my lux partition mapped to crypt data. Now we will um, add a physical volume, uh, a new volume group, uh, we'll call this data, and then inside this volume group we will create a logical volume called root for our root partition. Okay, so this is basically the steps the Pop! OS installer performs when you click clean install. Let's do first the physical volume, let's create this on dev mapper crypt data so let's make this a f physical volume now let's create a volume group let's call this data on in our physical volume crypt data and let's create a logical volume let's name this root and let's use a hundred percent of the free space now let's have a look at the dev mapper and you can now see that we have data root. So data root, we will we'll actually use this to install our system. Now let's close everything. Lux close data root, crypt data. Okay, so nothing's open anymore. Okay, now let's install Pop! OS. Simply keep the terminal window open. Okay, English, United States. I still have a German keyboard. Now, we will want to do custom. Okay, and here you can see now my disk. So this is the internal SSD that I use for backup. And this is my NVMe. And you can see the partitions here. So the first partition, we will use this for boot FE and let's format it OK. There's a check mark. Now let's use this partition as custom and use it for recovery. Uh, adding this um, label here, the Pop! OS installer will then use the recovery partition to basically copy the installation files of the USB flash drive too. And then we can use uh, the bootloader to have a nice and neat recovery system at hand. And the file system needs to be FAT32. Okay. Now the third one will be our swap partition. That's fine. And the last one, first I need to decrypt this. Let's also call this crypt data. And then you will have another line here and we will use this partition for root and we'll format it with butterfs. Okay, so very importantly recheck where the black check marks are. Okay, in particular if you don't have any other FE partitions that are overwritten, stuff like that. Okay, so boot FE, all right. This is recovery, FAT32. This is swap and this is root and here we have butterfs. Okay, now erase and install. Let's create 
a user account. This has changed since 2004. Um, and let's do some other picture maybe. Okay. There you go. And now we will need to wait for the installation process to finish. Let me speed this up. Okay, now don't restart or shut down. Just keep this window open in the background and reopen your terminal here. And also maybe you want to simply open my written guide because there are all the commands we are going to need and also many descriptions on what we are doing. So in this video I will be very quick here. Okay, so now the post installation steps. First we need to mount the Butterfess top level root file system and make sure that this is the par partition that you used, that you encrypted with LUX. Okay. Now let's mount the top level root file system that has a sub volume ID of number five. It always has number five and I'm already using the optimized mount options. Okay. So I have fi found in various other distros that people are tend to use these mount options and I'm already, I already want to use this for mounting this to slash MNT. Okay, very importantly, you have to mount the data root. Okay, so hit enter. Now, if you have a look into mount, the PopOS installer did not create any ButterFS subvolumes. It simply copied all files to the top level. Okay, so let's create subvolumes. Okay, create mount, let's call this one subvolume add. Okay, so let's go into mount. Again, now you can see this looks like a folder, but it's not. It's actually a subvolume. So there's a, a very fine difference here. Now let's move all files and folders into this add. Um, this command will do that. This might take a little while. And because we are already using the optimized mount options, we will, for instance, already use compression now. Okay, let's quickly check. So there's only add. And if we go into add, you can see that all the files are now inside the sub volume. But we want this home, the um, content of home, inside a, in a dedicated sub volume called add home, which needs to be at the top level. Okay, so let's go into the top level and let's create another sub volume with ButterFS. Okay, and let's move everything in home into the sub volume. Okay, so now if you have a look in if you have a look in inside the add sub volume in the home folder, there's nothing in there anymore. Everything else is now in the add home sub volume. And we will then mount this subvolume to this folder so the system behaves as it should. Okay. So we have two subvolumes add for basically all files that are in slash and at home for everything that is in slash home. Now we need to do some changes to the FS tab and the crypt tab. Okay, so let's open it. Okay, so now this is the FS tab. Okay, so boot FE is um, mounted to the first partition. This is the second partition. Then the third partition is actually encrypted in the crypt, the crypt tab and then used for swap use. So hibernation will also work. And this is then the UID of the data root um, logical volume here. Okay, now we will need to add some things here. So first of all, we need to um, tell the inside the FS tab that this 
that slash should be mounted to the subvolume add and slash home to the subvolume add home. And also I want to use the optimized mount options. So either type in everything in um, in this editor here or I've provided you with some quick commands here using sed and the echo command. Let's have a look in the fs tab. So basically what has changed is that um, I've added here the subvolume add and also the optimized mount options here. Okay. And then I've copied basically this line here and added the mount point slash home and this will be mounted to add home the subvolume. Okay. Now let's have a look at our crypt tab. Okay, so here you can see that the swap partition is also encrypted. The key is simply random, so it will change on every boot, but this uh, will make hibernation work for you. Now crypt data is the, the fourth partition that we encrypted with Lux and as we are using the um, discard uh, equals async option, uh, we need to pass the discard here in the crypt tab as well. Now, let's adapt the uh, systemd bootloader or configuration files and the kernel stuff, okay? So first let's mount our FE partition. Okay, this was the P1 partition for me for you this might be different, to add boot FE. Okay, and if you have a look into this file here, this is simply uh, a very uh, simple configuration file and I want to add, I like to add a timeout here so I can always select maybe the recovery partition or um, booting into pop os uh, or different kernel here okay so i added the tile out here if you actually have a look in the entry of pop os current okay you will find that we can or we need to adjust the options here so root will be on this uid this is everything is fine lock levels, show status, and if you want a splash screen, you can use this as well, but we need to add root flags equals sub vol equals add. Okay, so this then tells the systemd bootloader to look inside the sub volume add for slash. Okay, now very importantly, we need to adjust the kernel stub configuration file. Okay, and particularly the user option here. Okay, very importantly, don't forget a comma here, and then simply do the same, uh, root flags equals sub vol equals add. And there you go. Control O, Control X. Now let's unmount everything in our slash MNT. And now let's mount the add sub volume, okay, using the optimized um, mount options already to slash MNT. And then these commands will then mount everything such that we can open up a cheroot. And now you are inside your system. Let's mount everything, what is given in the FS tab, okay? So boot FE successfully mounted, recovery successfully mounted, this is the swap partition, uh, the add sub volume was already mounted, and slash home was successfully mounted uh, inside the sub volume add home. So the most important command here, and this needs to be run inside the cheroot, is to update the initram file system here. 
Okay, and this might take a little while. Okay, and that's it. Let's exit the Chirrut and let's reboot. Now, if everything went correctly, then we should just see a single passphrase prompt. Okay, where we need to enter the Lux passphrase and we will boot into PopOS. Okay, um, I like to hit escape here to get rid of the splash screen and then I'm entering my password. You don't have to do that, but I like to see whether everything is working correctly or if we get some fail here. I only do this once uh, for the first installation. Afterwards, I just enter my password. Okay, you don't see it, but now I am allowed to enter my password. Um, the capture card I'm using thinks it's an extended monitor. I will change that in a second. So anyways, I was able to enter my user account password. Okay, now let's quickly go through the welcome screen. Whatever. Okay. Okay. I like to use location services. I am based in Germany. Don't need to do this right now. Okay. Now let's check if everything went correctly, but it looks good. Okay, um, let's have a look what is mounted. Boot FE recovery, all right, and home. And let's actually grab everything from dev mapper. And we see that data root, we have slash and slash home. They have the optimized mount options. And this is the subfolder add. And this is add home. Okay, very good. Now let's have a look at, yeah, we are using a encrypted swap partition. Very good. And let's have a look at file system show the top level. I'm using one device. Okay, eight gigabytes is used. And let's list the sub volumes. Okay, this looks very good. So let's update and upgrade the system and reboot. So finally, now let's also check whether there is some dist upgrades. There should not be. No, but we can actually remove a couple of packages. Yes, please. and do an auto clean. Okay, now if you, like me, installed on the NVMe or SSD drive, I also like to enable the FSTrim timer because both FSTrim and the, the discard async or mount option of ButterFS can peacefully coexist and this won't harm your drive at all. Okay, so this is enabled. Again, for 
SSD SSD trimming to work properly it is very important to have the discard option here if you change anything in the crypt hub you have to update the init RAMFS don't forget that okay so this looks good and also have a look into LVM lvm.conf uh, let's search for um, issue discard okay so there's supposed to be a one here but this is usually this is by default here already okay now let's reboot okay enter your lux password now I have to enter the user account password you can't see this because this is on a different screen and there we go now let's install timeshift and timeshift auto snap apt okay um, I always like to do this from the command line so sudo apt install timeshift Now let's start time shift. Okay, select ButterFS and even though it tells you that it does not have a ButterFS partition, this is a bug in time shift. Um, you can simply click next here and then select which how many snapshots you want to keep. So, and I did run into some issues when I selected all of the snapshot levels. So I usually tend to deactivate hourly or boot. Um, this is fine. Let's, I also always include the at home sub volume in my backups. Uh, when I restore a snapshot, I always have another choice whether or not I also want to restore the at home which most often you don't want to and then there's the uh, q groups options here which uh, is recommended by time sh um, shift some people run into slowdowns so if you uh, experience a slowdowns uh, when using time shift will uh, try to disable this uh, q groups uh, uh, option here okay and finish and let's create a snapshot. There it is. Okay, so snapshots are very fast. Note that you have an error here. This is just because it's run for the first time. Okay, if I create another snapshot, there are no errors here. And if I want to delete the first snapshot, there you go. And that's it. So the beauty about ButterFS, it will only save changes in files and data okay so you can always revert to this point in time always okay so this is the beauty of copy on write okay now time shift will check every hour if snapshots say hourly daily weekly monthly or boot need to be created or deleted and um, those boot snapshots will actually be created about 10 minutes after a system startup and all your snapshots can be found or are mounted in here. Okay, so this is actually time shift mounts your Butterfest subwall ID 5, so the top level root ID to run time shift backup. Okay, so you have your add, everything in add is the same. So if you do um, okay, so this is the same as in here okay or is the same as in here okay so you this folder here you are actually at the top level in time shift butterfs you find find all your snapshots okay now let's install time shift auto snap apt from my github Okay, so git clone https slash slash github.com 
time shift auto snap app dot git and I want this time shift auto snap app in my home folder. Okay. Let's go into the folder and let's hit sudo make install. This is this just copies over the script and the configuration. Let's have a look at the configuration. Um, here, because we don't have a dedicated boot partition, um, we can set the snapshot of boot to false. The EFI folder will be cloned into boot.backup EFI. Okay, and if you want to change other, we don't use grub. So we can actually set this maybe to false here as well. Okay, this looks good. Let's see whether this works. And you can see the time shift, a snapshot with time shift is created. So whenever I now run some apt command, you can see that a new snapshot is taken. Okay, even also when I delete it. And there is a setting how many of those uh, snapshot snapshots are saved. Okay, now that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, again, there is a written guide with all the commands and much more explanations. So please check this out if you want to do this on your system. Also, please first try it in a virtual machine so you know what you're doing. Anyways, please leave your comments and suggestions in the comment sections below and I will update the descriptions and also the written guide for any mistakes I made or any better solutions you might suggest. Thank you. Have a good day.